It's just your boy Isaac, and guess what I saw? Doctor Strange. Now, so sorry, I have to choose my words wisely because there's an embargo, I believe, which will not release until Sunday for Doctor Strange. Now, that being said, your boy basically want to give you the scoop, so, oh, here it goes! Oh, snap! Catch what I saw! Oh, snap! Catch what I saw! Oh, snap! Guess what I saw! Alright, so, Carl Mulder actually played by uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor is probably hands down my favorite villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And here's why. He's not necessarily a villain per se yet, but he basically has the seams, which is fairly similar to, you know, the seams that basically was introduced in the Thor series with Loki, except it's actually, you know, amplified because with with uh, Mordo, he's a misunderstood villain or he's going to become a misunderstood villain. So those are like the type of villains I actually like is the ones who believe what they're doing is for the greater good because that is the scariest thing about actually creating a villain is creating a villain who believes what they're doing is for a purpose a purpose of good that's scary that being said the main villain is somebody I'm not really familiar with because I didn't grow up reading Doctor Strange comics but um, they're called the Zealots I think and uh, essentially uh, Matt Mad Nicholson's character is like a part of that group and like they're looking for like some form of truth kind of like um, the man of letters with magical powers except um, or Jedi's I should say except like when they get this power it can actually corrupt them as well and this is what happened with Mad Nicholson's character and I gotta say sadly for Mad he didn't do much for me as a superpowered villain. I mean, this movie, again, is an or origin story, but it seems like it concentrates more on the origins of the villain, which is great. It reminded me of Chronicles. However, I wasn't really too, you know, satisfied with Mad's villain over, you know, Baron Mortal. Because, you know, there's two origin stories here. You got Doctor Strange and you got Baron, and then you got, you know, the Xenots, which is basically like the standard run-of-the-mill Marvel villains. Um, but yeah, that is one of the biggest highlights for me as far as watching the Marvel movies is the setup of a villain to come. <laughs> the score was great as well. That's a, uh, definitely something that's also good that we should be talking about. Um, as far as the negatives go, not many. Like I mentioned in my non-spoiler review, or minor spoiler review, I guess. Um... You're going to have some repetition with these Marvel movies. Um, it's very quirky. I was kind of hoping for a more darker, horror-like Doctor Strange movie. But um, it felt like uh, this movie basically had uh, a blend of two types of dynamics. It, it felt like at one point it was all serious and then maybe a few rewrites added some humor. Like every few you know tidbits or so and it, it, it was noticeable because um you know one minute i'm actually going into something and like the world is actually at stake with the multiverse and it's collapsing in and into itself and then we get something witty and i'm like yeah th this joke just felt like it was forced it didn't actually serve the purpose of this scene but it was just little minor things like that and nitpicks that um you know kind of helped this movie down for me as being perfection um, I was really hyped yesterday though. I was like, oh man, this is almost as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. And to a certain extent it is. Um, because the visuals is nothing like ain't nothing like I've seen before. It's um visually appealing and it's definitely a movie that I recommend you see in IMAX 3D. Um if you thought the Matrix was transcending transcending, then you ain't seen nothing yet, son. This movie is something fierce. Uh, long story short, I was really happy with Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, American accent. Rachel McAdams was great as well. The Ancient One, One Punch Man was dope. Kind of reminded me of Morpheus from The Matrix. And overall, I'm just really excited to see where the Marvel Cinematic Universe goes next. Especially now that we got another key unlocked with the multiverse, the sky's the, the limit. We got Gal uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Two coming out, which kind of actually makes a little bit more sense after watching Doctor Strange. Uh, even though I don't think that Guardians of the Galaxy is going to have any kind of uh, any kind of semblance to you know Thanos, but we'll see. But overall, another stellar Marvel movie for me. You know, Marvel seems to be you know knocking it out of the park. They can't really do wrong. Man, I'm going to go see it again when it comes out. <laughs>
Anyways, if you guys like what you hear and you want to hear more, subscribe for our brother. I appreciate all the love and feedback. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I love them deuces. I'm out.